A religion with no systematized doctrine or theology, no sacred text, no founder. A religion in which many people practice the rituals but don't claim to be religious. This religion is Shinto. What is Shinto? The word Shinto, which literally means the way of Kami. Generally, the yes, sacred or divine power, specifically the various gods, came into use in order to distinguish indigenous Japanese beliefs from Buddhism, which had been introduced into Japan in the 6th century CE. And what are kami? They are sacred spirits which take the form of things and concepts important to life, such as wind, rain, mountains, trees, rivers, and fertility. Humans become kami after they die and are revered by their family as a central kami. Why Shinto is not considered a religion? Because ritual rather than belief is at the heart of Shinto. Japanese people don't usually think of Shinto specifically as a religion. It's simply as an aspect of Japanese life. This has enabled Shinto to coexist happily with Buddhism for centuries. It's sometimes said that there are 8 million kami, in other words, countless kami. However, kami are very different from the concept of gods in other religions, especially in the religions like Christianity, Judaism, or Islam, in which God is transcendent or known down to earth. What I mean by that is Shinto does not distinguish between a natural and a supernatural reality. There is one reality that humans and kami inhabit together but it's split between the realm that we can see and an invisible realm. Kami are also not necessarily good or evil too. According to Shinto mythology, recorded in the Kojiki and Nihon Shaki, 8th century texts that are part myth and part history, the Kami Izanami and Izanagi created the earthly realm, the seventhly duo stared the ocean with a spear and salt that dripped down created the first island. They populated the world with all the sorts of Kami and natural phenomena, including their three noble children, the sun goddess Amaterasu and her brothers the moon god Tsukuyomi and Tusano the storm god. Kami may also inhabit sacred, man-made objects such as mirrors, words, and common shapey jewels called Magatama. These objects also make up the three imperial regalia. Sacred treasure passed down to the emperor by Amaterasu to signify his divine authority. Even certain humans can become kami after they die such as Tenjin, the kami of education. The court until a sherin was built for him, today people will pray to him for success on their successes in life. Kami have also generative powers, musubi, and encourage harmonious relationship between humans and other living beings. On the flip side, they can also punish people with illness, misfortune, and even natural disaster when angry. What is the origin of Shinto? In the late 6th century AD, the name Shinto was created from the native religion to distinguish it from Buddhism and Confucianism, which had been introduced from Shinto. Shinto was rapidly overshadowed by Buddhism and the native gods were generally regarded as manifestation of Buddha and a free state of existence. Tokami veneration began as a super local practice focusing on performing rituals for the good of the community and agricultural production. Its villager clan had its own rituals and patron kami known as Ojigami over time people were created and merged into states until the establishment of the unified system of rule with the Yamato. They promoted their own ritual traditions and became major supporters of shrines who support the court in return still, each shrine had its own myth and rituals. Even though they might enshrine the exact same kami as the other shrines, and in fact many powerful shrines had their own school of Shinto too, is enshrined. However, local shrines traditions continued to be the most relevant for the masses. Although certain kami and major sites gained wide popularity in the medieval and Tokugawa periods. Shinto underwent a huge transformation in the 19th century with the leaders of major restoration of and section to referring to Shinto traditions and new religious movements related to Shinto that were designated as private religious organizations after World War E, the Western powers legally classified Shinto as a religion 
and separate it from the state, there is way more to talk about Shinto before, during, and after the world wars. Shinto is way more about what you practice than what you believe. Yes, Shinto has its own moral philosophy. Shinto promotes purity, sincerity, and gratitude at its primary versions, while Shinto teaches that improper and harmful action show me can pollute a person. It really isn't equivalent to the Christian concept of original sin, because humans are not considered to be innately or permanently polluted. Yes, people should try to avoid pollution where they can, but the pollution that accumulates can be purified through rituals which leads us to shrine practice. As you probably figure out today, Kami veneration is done at shrines or Jinja. There are somewhere between 80,000 and 100,000 shrines in Japan, and even some across the word they can range from structure, the size of mailbox to the massive is Grand Shine Complex, which includes a total of 124 trends. You can identify Shinto Shrine from a Buddhist temple by it. its story gate, which represent the boundary of shrine sacred present. Shrines can just have one or thousand authority gates like the famous Foshimi in Naro in Kyoto. Rose woven out of straw or hemp called Shimanawa also mark of sacred space. Shimanawa are hung with white paper shaped like lightning bolts that symbolize purification. You often see Shimanawa hanging on. Tori gates ritual washing station and sacred rocks and tree shrines where the kami are taught to dwell when they interact with humans. They can enshrine just one or a bunch of different kami. Every day, Shinto priests conduct ritual for the kami, which involve purification, offerings, and chanting prayers called Narito. Sometimes dances are performed to entertain the kami in exchange for a donation. Shinto priests can marry and have kids. Now many priests come from specific shrine families. But technically, anyone can train to become one. You yourself can visit shrines as frequently as you like. Tons of people visit shrines for seasonal rituals and festivals throughout the year and rites of passage like weddings or the birth of a child. Even if a person doesn't regularly visit a shrine, they often go to pray for blessings too. during the new year. During a typical visit, you first bow at the first story gate to show respect to the kami. Then, visit a ritual washing station with flowing water and wooden ladles called a timizoya. After you've purified yourself, you can go greet the kami ring. The bell throw a coin as an offering bow twice. Clock twice to get the kami's attention and bow once more when you're finished. Before you leave, you can hang a vote of play to leave behind a prayer and commemorate your visit with a special collectible stamp called a goshuin. Now, the Shinto Shrines attend the New Year festivals or buy an amulet at a shrine without ever identifying as a Shinto. In fact, Shinto priests are often happy for people of different religions to visit shrines and pay their respect to the kami as long as you do this correctly and respectfully. So next time, you're in Japan, make time to check out some Shinto shrines for yourself.